the trade war heats up, so has the rhetoric. President Trump argues that China will pay for the new tax on imports. But is that really how tariffs work? Good question. Heather Brown explains why experts say the cost ultimately gets passed on to American consumers. For investors, this has been a scary day. China announced a new round of tariffs. They basically did what the U.S. did. So a tariff is a tax. A tariff is a tax. Robert Cutterly is an international trade expert at the U of M. But it's an, a word that's used to tax imports from other countries. For example, if the U.S. put a 15% tariff on a $100 chair from China, the cost of that chair would then be $115 to the American customer. Let's talk about who pays, who pays. Paid for mostly by China, by the way, not by us. Is it true? No. And this is President Trump's economic advisor. In fact, both sides will pay. Both sides will pay. Who actually pays that tax? The importer pays it, but then passes it along. They will likely pass a lot of that on to consumers. And while it's certainly possible, and in many cases true, that the seller bears some part of the burden of that tax, most of it is borne by the person who buys the good. What are we paying more for? Okay, furniture is a big one. Why do governments generally put tariffs on goods? Well, in U.S. history, we did it simply to raise money for the federal government. Mm -hmm. But that hasn't been true for decades. Not since World War II. Right now, about half of industrial goods come to the U.S. duty-free. In 2016, the average tariff was 1.6 percent. Mostly, governments use tariffs for protection to keep their industries from being competed with. Some estimate current tariffs on Chinese goods are already costing American families an extra $400 to $700 a year. That could double uh, with the new tariffs. In order to correct 20 years plus of um, unfair trading practices with China, I think this is a risk we should and can take. How does this all end? Well, that's the problem. We don't know because it's utterly unprecedented. Heather Brown. Now, WCCO. We're in uncharted territory. Four news.